this new phenomenon called quiet quitting, which is, hey, this place is unfair or, you know, it has unreasonable expectations. So I'm just going to do the least possible I can get away with. Look, you're shortchanging yourself. If it is so unfair, your manager is such a toxic person, then quit or find some other manager within the same organization or do something else. But then be all in on that. Okay, this quiet quitting is a cat catastrophe for you. There's another false narrative around, look, I need, forget the long term, I need to optimize for now. What does that look like? Oh, if somebody offers you 10% more, you're gone. Okay. Now you can, what that, that tra trajectory looks like is a series of, you know, what looks like stairs you're climbing, but then you hit a wall. Okay. You've got, you've built, you haven't built a reputation. You've not built any track record or legacy that you can point to or a potential employer or client can point to. You really don't have any depth of skills. So you'll fairly soon find yourself hitting a wall or a ceiling and not able to progress beyond. And that in today's environment is very dangerous. So I think it's far more important to think about, hey, how do I take on meaningful big challenges and then spend a few years making a success of it? Because it is these crucible experiences that build character, skills, leadership qualities, reputation, etc. So I don't think the fundamentals of how you build a great professional life and a satisfying personal life have changed that much. Context is different, opportunities manifest differently. But I still think it's incredibly important to find things you love and you're good at and then be all in and intense about it.